Hi, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm with some vascular and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do some meshing with TetGen in some vascular. TetGen is a meshing, a mesh generator uh, that generates uh, tetrahedral volume from a poly data surface. Um, so some of the file types that it can input are VTPs, STLs, um, and uh, VTKs as a poly data. Um, so we'll load in our solid. Uh, I'm using a cylinder today just to show the simple meshing techniques. Um, and the next thing I'm going to want to do is apply a mesh edge size. Um, so sometimes you may not know the dimensions of your model and you need to figure it out so I'll show how you can do that really quick. Um, if you go over here to this model tab and then go on your screen and select P. You can select the different surfaces of your model. And you can see I've already named these surfaces. If you don't know how to name a surface or a face of your surface, you can watch the tutorial on preparing a surface for meshing. So I'm going to select my inlet here, which is the same area as my outlet. Um, and I'm going to click this calc area button. And it tells me that the area of this uh, face is 12.3. So what I can do now is I can calculate a radius for this circle and I can also calculate what would be a good mesh edge, edge size. Um, And so we get a diameter of about 3.95. So if we do that and divide it by um, somewhere between 8 to 10 um, triangles along that surface seems like it'd be good. So we'll do 8. And we get a mesh edge size of about 0.5. So right here in this set maximum edge size, we'll put 0.5. And so this 0 0.5 is used to generate the volume of an equilateral tetrahedron. And the input to TetGen is actually a volume. Um, so this will give basically an average edge size um, for your mesh. And so to start off with, I'll just do the surface. Usually I like to do the surface beforehand to make sure the surface looks good um, before I actually compute the volume. So we'll run this measure, and it'll generate, uh, it'll do a surface remeshing basically, and generate surface. And this has uh, 5,500 faces, um, so 5,500 triangles on the surface now. And to just see basically the surface mesh, we can do that. I hit E to show the edges, S for surface, and W for wireframe. Um, so now we can do our volume and this will do a surface remeshing, the same surface remeshing, and then it'll compute the volume from it. Um, so on the exterior, our, um, it'll look the same in the viewing window. Um, but we actually have a volume mesh here now and you can see that we have 45,000 elements on the interior here and so now um, if we wanted we could uh, select our directory to save the, f the mesh files and write the files um, or we can do some other things um, there's some options you can play with here in the Tetchin flags that um, change optimization and quality ratios for the mesh. Um, this helper has a little bit more information about uh, the different options you can play with. Um, but then we also have this advanced mesh options. So we can do a boundary layer meshing and sphere refinement as well. So we'll actually do a boundary layer right now. We'll apply a boundary layer. And this portion of the edge size is the factor that's multiplied by this size here to give you the thickness of your initial boundary layer. 
So if we specify, let's do zero, uh, let's leave it at 0 0.5. So it'll be half of 0.5 um, for our initial thickness. And then let's go with three layers. And this decreasing ratio is the ratio at which the um, thickness decreases along the layers. So the first layer will be half 0.5 of this and then uh, the next layer after that will be, we'll specify 0.9, so it'll be 90% of the thickness of the first layer. Um, so now that we specified that, we can run our mesh and it asks, asks us to select a surface for the boundary layer. So we do this by going over to the viewing window, pressing P on the surface we want our boundary layer on, and it should shouldn't take too long. Um, this is just a cylinder, so it should be pretty quick. Um, but in the end, we'll have a boundary layer um, with three layers uh, on our surface. And it looks like it's done. So we'll check that out. And yeah, there it is, um, three layers. Our first layer here is half the mesh edge size and then that's the next one's 90% of that and the next one's 90% of that. So um, that's how you generate a boundary layer mesh and then we can actually add the sphere refinement as well. So we'll add sphere refinement um, and we can change the radius of the sphere here. I I enter a value and then hit enter in the box for it to update in the viewing window. And then we can move this around. I'm gonna put it like over near the end a little bit. Um, and then this refinement fac factor is multiplied by the mesh edge size to give you basically the edge size within um, the volume of the sphere that you would like the edge size to be. So I'm going to do 0 0.4 and once we've got that set we run mesh again and we're doing a boundary layer again so we have to select our boundary layer and this might take a little bit longer we're doing some refinement in the sphere um, but not too much longer since it's uh, still a simple cylinder case. Um, but so those are the advanced mesh, op mesh options. Um, once again, you can kind of uh, play around with the touch and flags to uh, change the output of the volume mesh a little bit. So we'll see what that looks like. This region here should be refined by 40%. Check it out. It should be almost done. Okay, so there we have it. Um, our number of elements have increased. Obviously, it's almost one million now because um, we got a fairly fine uh, mesh uh, in this region over here. So turn this guy off, and we'll just display our mesh. And yeah, so as you can see in there, it's uh, pretty fine. Um, in the the volume where the sphere was. Um, but so yeah, that's how you uh, do some basic meshing with Tetchen, just uh, an isotropic mesh if you want, and then um, using the advanced options of boundary layer and sphere refinement. Oh, and there's a helper here as well to check out um, some of the information about boundary layer meshing and sphere refinement. So thank you for listening. I hope this was informative, 
and I hope you continue to have a great day and check out our other videos. All right, thank you.